Okay, so we have got a little bit more information about the Way of Winter. They sneakily put this up on their Steam page. Um, I didn't know about it until someone mentioned it in Discord, so let's have a look at what they say. So, Devs Talk, the Way of Winter patch preview. In this Devs Talk, we'll give you a sneak peek into the Way of Winter patch and walk you through what the Way of Winter PvE scenario is going to look like when it's released on October 17th. So the Way of Winter, Winter Scenario Preview, Seasonal Phases. The Way of Winter Scenario contains five seasonal phases, which last 7, 8, 10, 10, and 28 days respectively. Just like the existing scenarios, the first four phases are the main gameplay phases of the season. During the last phase, you can sign up and wait until it's time to proceed on to the next scenario. So we don't know when that's the next one's going to be, if it's going to be another Way of Winter, or if they've got another scenario lined up, we don't know. Uh, so phase one, Arctic Domain, duration seven days. The raging winds and snow devastate everything in their path. Prepare yourself to survive in the extreme environment of the snowy realm. Important gameplay, public crisis event, hails moving house, cargo con conquest and securement silos are available. Venya Fjord and Onyx Tundra are available. So I presume they're gonna be the new silos. Uh, Wish Machine prize pool, the echoes from the Rift, Rift prize pool. Phase two. Scattered ash, lava flows and surges, and the scorching air carries away all hope. The extreme climate brings only arduous challenges. Though so this duration is eight days, important gameplay, the Ember Strand area is available. All the areas of the snowy realm are unlocked. The new prize pools, destructive flames and blazing fire are available. Dungeons available in hard mode. The seasonal progress task, eliminate the chaos weaver is available. Who's the chaos weaver? What does he look like? We might know later. I'll get to that in a sec. So Wish Machine prize pool echoes from the rift. Destructive Flames prize pool featuring the legendary weapon blueprint Destructive Flame. Blazing Fire prize pool featuring the legendary armor blueprint. Fire Rune Boots, Lone Wolf Hood, Lone Wolf Gloves and Lone Wolf Mask. So this is going to be a really, really good way to upgrade your Lone Wolf stuff. If you can just get it as spins, that is going to be so much cheaper than buying the pieces individually for upgrading. <clears throat> so phase three, a glimmer of hope. Humanity strength shows itself during great crisis, like a spark that lights up the north. You must work with other metas to build a home. Duration, 10 days, important gameplay, dungeons available in pro mode, seasonal progress task, eliminate the chaos weaver is available, wish machine, prize pool, echoes from the rift, destructive flame, blazing flyer. Phase four, the end of ice and fire. Deep in the snowy mists, Giants of ice and fire begin to rise, shaking the earth. The north shall soon be enveloped in the shadow of annihilation. Is this two new bosses we're going to get? Instead of just having like the one like Manibus, we'll have a fire and ice one, that'd be awesome. Duration 10 days, important gameplay. The event Frost and Flame is available. The Chaos Weaver spawns on the highest level and affects area temperature in a large range. You can completely eliminate this threat. The new prize pools Tranquil Frost and Frost Domain are available. Ooh. So is that going to be Icy Rain? It's probably going to be Icy Rain, isn't it? Icy Rain and Abyssal Glance, I imagine. Uh, available, the, pro the Seasonal Progress Task Limit Chaos Weaver is available. So Seasonal Progress, so that'll be like the Manibus one, where once it's been beaten a certain amount of times, the meter goes up and we get rewards. Seasonal Progress Task Build and Protect Wonders. Thermal Tower is available. Ooh, that's interesting. So... Echoes from Restructive Blazing Tranquil Frost prize pool featuring legendary weapon blueprint Tranquil Frost. So are these new weapons then? Are these actually brand new weapons? Because there isn't a blueprint called Tranquil Frost in the game. Yet. Uh, Frost Domain prize pool legendary armor blueprint Snow Camouflage Gloves Blackstone Hood Blackstone Jacket and Blackstone Shoes. That's a whole new armor set. That's going to be a whole new armor set. And then, phase five, break of dawn. Dark days will eventually pass, but the snowy realm is forged in hope and courage which shall never fade. Important gameplay, a new season becomes available. <clears throat> so, uh, the way we're at the patch seasonal tags update preview. We plan to update seasonal tags on October 17th. Starting from then, all scenarios will use the same set of seasonal tags, including tags related to seasonal combat environments, cradles, prize pools, deviant invasions, and more. They remain consistent so that players can select the same server as their friends, unaffecting the layering mechanic. Okay. Interesting. The prize pools. The tags of the new season become available include these prize pools, destructive flames, blazing fire, cradle override. And the new season available on October 17th will make adjustments to the cradle override. 
All weapon builds will provide buffs and several keywords will gain new mechanics so that players can enjoy a new experience. Ooh. New mechanics on existing builds. That could be very interesting. Oh, this one's interesting. Blueprint conversion. So this is a new thing they're bringing in. So after the update on October 17th, the blueprint conversion feature will become available for all scenarios. Here's how it works. How to unlock. In the first season, when you reach level 40, you can access the blueprint conversion feature on the blueprint screen. Alternatively, you can wait until season 2 for it to automatically unlock. How to use. You can spend blueprint conversion attempts to swap the star level of any unlocked blueprint with another unlocked blueprint of the same rarity and gear type. Attempt cost. Each conversion will cost one blueprint conversion attempt. These attempts will recover at various points. When you unlock this feature for the first time, when a new season begins, upon a seasonal balance adjustment, and at a fixed time each week. There is a limit to how many attempts you can have. So you can so you're gonna get one at the start, you're gonna get one each week, and if they make any balance adjustments to weapons, you're gonna be able to do it then, which is a really good thing. So if they say we're running jaws and suddenly they balance it and nerf it into the ground, and you go, oh well, I've got a five-star jaws now that's useless. What the hell am I gonna do? You can choose a new weapon to main and you can switch those five stars into another weapon and you can just instantly have a five star weapon this is going to make things so much more fun and swapping builds so much more viable if you can just go boom okay i want that five star i want i'm tired of running i don't know shrapnel i want to run bingo weak spot you can just go okay i'll take my five star last valor and i'll convert it into a five star bingo it's gonna be amazing um so that's it for the preview of the Way of Winter patch content. For more details, please stay tuned for the full patch notes of the Way of Winter. We will regularly communicate our update plans, gather feedback, and solve major issues you find in a game. Feel free to share any thoughts you may have with us. I'm seeing this that this is a huge positive. This is going to be so good. The next scenario is going to make up uh, the slight problems we've had <laughs> with Prism vs. Clash. Um, I was saying about we might know what Stormweaver looks like. I don't know if you've caught this. If you go to, uh, where is it? Events. If you go on this, there's a new clickable here, video. Let's have a watch of this. How cool does that look? It's only a little sneak peek, but just, I mean, it's not Sephiroth, but you know, it's giving Sephiroth. Uh, the way you can control fire, like, so this would be like the mountainous area, the fiery, fiery place. And then you've got the ice cold. It's, it just looks really, really good. It looks amazing. And this clan of dudes up here, who are they? What are they? Like, I guess we're going to have to fight them. But what do you think? Are you excited for Way of Winner? Let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you in game soon. Bye-bye.